Here's a story that's all new for you tonight. Their stories are heartbreaking. Some of our neighbors feel like they're being targeted. The LGBTQ community wants their voices heard, and tonight they continued that conversation in D.C. Here's Lorenzo Hall. At this D.C. brewery, the pride celebrations pour out into all days of the year. We're, we're not hiding the fact that we are an LGBT-owned a brewery in business. Brian Vandenover is one of the owners of Red Bear Brewery in Noma. There's something devastatingly different on tap tonight. A deep conversation about the increase in hate crimes targeting the LGBTQ community this year. We're not equal um, still. We are not completely tolerated as a community. At the bar for this discussion are those worried about what will happen next. It puts people on edge. It's a little, it's scary. Cornelius Joy is talking about the violent incidents during Pride Month alone, including the black trans woman, Zoe Spears, who was shot to death. The gay couple beat up and robbed on U Street, along with the stabbings inside of a DuPont Circle gay bar. We can, we can hide behind our doors and hide behind our walls, but what are we doing? We need to make sure that we have safe spaces for everybody. Listening to these concerns were community leaders like Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Norton. Who are these people? Who says it's clear more needs to be done, especially for those who are transgender. What the police need to do is hang out where they hang out. And maybe we'll be able to do something about this. This comes at a time when a group of neighborhood commissioners called the Rainbow Caucus released a copy of the letter they sent to D.C. Council Chair Phil Mendelson demanding more funding for organizations providing support to the LGBTQ community. We are here. You know, we're not going anywhere. In the district, I'm Lorenzo Hall, WUSA 9.